This will be my part two series discussion on decibel in communication. Let's quickly come to the commonly used dB value. Okay, so from here you can see that plus 10 dB and minus 10 dB. What will be the difference? When a power is plus 10 dB, this simply means that the power actually increased by 10 times, which means that the original power actually multiplied by 10. When we say this minus 10 dB, what happened to the power? So the power actually divided by 10. So from here you can see that a big difference between this plus 10 dB and minus 10 dB. Plus 10, the power increased by 10 times. Minus 10, the power reduced by 10 times. Next will be plus 3 dB and minus 3 dB. Again, what will be the difference? When we actually add this 3 dB to the original power, the power actually double. For example, for the ratio 2 watts, when we actually add 3 dB, 2 watts become 4 watts. As for minus 3 dB, again, with the same 2 watts, when we actually add minus 3 dB, 2 watts become 1 watts, which means that the power actually reduced by half. Next, let's take a look on the key difference between dBW and dBm. For dBW, you can see that this is actually the original formula, and this is actually the reference number. When we actually reference against dBW, the reference number is actually 1, 1. So this is actually your measured power, for example. For example, okay, let's say this number P1 is actually greater than 1, 1. This dB will be a positive number. When this P1 is actually less than 1, 1, this will be a negative dB. And when P1 is exactly 1, 1, this will be a 0 dB. Okay, so basically from here, you can easily tell whether the power is more than or less than 1 watt, or exactly 1 watt. Okay, so basically this is the difference okay, between dB and dBm. For dBm, okay, you can see that the reference is 1 mini watt. Again, the same principle. When this P1W okay, is more than 1 mini watt, this will be a positive dBm. When P1 is less than 1 mini watt, this will be a negative dBm. And again, P1 is exactly 1 mini watt, this will be 0 dBm. So again, from here, you can see that they basically compare power. This is mainly used for a larger power. This is mainly used for a smaller power. So from here, you can easily quantify the power. If you want to see more, see the playlist. Thank you so much.